Now in part B of this question, we've got to calculate to three sigma figures the product moment correlation coefficient between L and W. And in the previous part, we worked out what SLL was and SLW were. And we were also given SWW. So how do we work out the product moment correlation coefficient between L and W? Well, normally you're given the formula when the data is between X and Y. The product moment coefficient R is given as SXY all divided by the square root of SXX and SYY. Now, as I say, this formula is generally given in your formula book, okay, but uh, it does help to learn these formulae anyway. But uh, there you go. What we've got to do is just replace the X and Y. If we replace the X with an L and the Y with a W, then our product moment correlation coefficient R is going to be given by S. LW all divided by the square root of SLL multiplied by SWW. And we've got these values up here, okay? So we can see that this is just going to be for SLW, it's going to be 569.66. And we divide this then by the square root of SLL, 3419.92. And we multiply this with SWW, 289.6. 289.6. And whenever you're working out these product moment correlation coefficients, do remember that you only can expect to get a value between minus one and one inclusive. So you can always check to see whether your answer looks reasonable. Well, when you do this calculation, say on your calculator, you should find you get 0.57241 and so on. And we've got to give our value to three signum figures. So if we give that to three signum figures, it's going to be 0.572 to 3SF. Okay, three signum figures. Now, for part C, we've got to give an interpretation of our coefficient here. Well, what we would expect is that, remember that if you were plotting a graph of the length and weight, okay, the weight against length, what we're finding is because we've got a positive correlation, it would seem to suggest that the points then are scattered something like this about a line of best fit, let's say like that. There's going to be some, quite some scattering because we haven't got plus one, which would mean that they would be perfectly on this line of positive correlation. But what it's telling us though, is that as the length increases, the weight of the salmon increases. And that would be the kind of answer that I'd write. Okay, so uh, that brings us now to the end of this question. I hope that's given you some idea if you were uh, in difficulty.